Hello everybody. Welcome to Resin Nut. Today we're going to be working on this flower mold that I got from Tamu. It's pretty good size, but it's got some really pretty flowers and some blooms. And I'm going to be using some mica powders, um, mostly super chameleon powders, okay, from uh, craft or Glitter and Crafts for You. And I'm going to be using different colors, um, anaconda and uh, copper rose, blue paradise, or pixie paradise, and dragon's eye. And let's see here. And uh, let's see. Bur Bourbon Street. Yeah. Anyway, just a combination of some different colors there that I'm going to be painting on, um, painting on the flower here. And yeah, I'm really excited about this mold. I think it's going to be super fun. So I'm going to get started here with this is the Pixie Paradise, I believe, or no, is that the Blue Ecstasy? I think that might be the I'm sorry, you know, it's a pixie paradise. <laughs> Trying to figure this out, I believe. It's really blue there, but um, yeah, there's so many pretty colors. And we're going to just start dry brushing this mica powders on uh, to all the uh, blossoms and blooms. Okay, that pretty much does it for this flower. I'm going to um, take it here and tip it upside down and get all the excess mica powder off of it and just kind of, you know, give it a little brush off. Okay, that really works really well just to kind of give it a quick little blow on the mold and then you know, tip it upside down, give it a pat. It does a great job. And then I always um, clean my brush off on just a dry paper towel or something, just something close by. Um, I usually don't need to wet it or anything, just enough to get the loose powder off before I change on to a different color. And now we're going to move on to, let's see here. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do think okay this one I'm gonna do is the pixie paradise okay leave and I'm gonna put just a bit here into the center of this flower you know that's the bourbon street maybe but yeah anyway I'm gonna go ahead and just finish doing these blossoms and the different blooms and kind of go through some of the different colors here and see how um, how this is starting to look so far really good really love these this color this is really pretty this is my new order from glitter and crafts for you of some of their um, other super chameleon powders and I'm just I don't want to say obsessed but definitely loving them they're so much fun to use Wow, this is really starting to look pretty, really pretty. Love how these colors shift in the light. Now we are going to move on to a different color. And I'm pretty sure that I want to start with the, probably the dragon's eye. I think I want to do next. Okay. And that will be kind of a nice um, addition to the colors that we've already got going here.
It's looking really pretty, really pretty, loving it. Okay, now we're going to use copper roses and um, kind of finish up our blossoms here. Here it is with all of the flowers done. Isn't it looking really pretty? Really, really loving it so far. Now we can work on the green with the anaconda, anaconda green. This is gonna be really pretty for the stem and there might be a leaf in here somewhere too. Okay, so I'm gonna make up some more resin and get ready to do the background. And oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Really, really pretty. I'm excited to see what it's gonna turn out like when it's done, and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, I'm gonna mix up more resin. I am not gonna need a whole lot. Uh, that's for sure. I think maybe only a couple, two or three ounces maybe for this. It's not very thick mold. And I'm going to be using black mica powder from Let's Resin for our background color. So I'm going to be just putting a couple of scoops from my craft stick in here. I want it to be opaque. It doesn't have to be like a solid, solid black, but definitely I don't want it see-through. It needs to be just a nice, decent black. I always like to add a little squirt of alcohol in there too to kind of help with the bubbles. Okay, so I'm going to just start pouring kind of slowly, especially around here where the deeper ridges are around the flowers. This will help kind of prevent bubbles from forming. Um, and also I like to start pouring my resin before it gets too warm and too thick. Okay, I'm going to change my cup here and put this over into a half bottle, a half cut off water bottle so that it's easier to manage. The cup I was using was kind of stiff, so it made it hard to get into the small areas. Okay, everybody, we are going to let this cure and I will be back and we will demold this tomorrow. Okay, I'm back everybody. I'm here to unmold our flower. It is cured. I see some of the mica powders came up kind of through our black um, resin here and it's actually super pretty and it's hard and cured and dry. But I do see it's a bit bendy, so I'm going to go ahead and mold it, but I'm going to be try to 
I'm going to try just to be a little careful here. I would take it out. But I am super excited to see this. The mold is kind of a thinner mold. So it's really easy to, to kind of bend it to get this flower out. We've got one little spot here that's um, right here, this little triangle. I'm gonna have to be kind of careful how we get that out of there. I don't want to. I don't want to rip my mold, so I'm probably going to use not the pointy end of this, but the blunt end to kind of help get. Oh, I already got through there. That's all right. Yeah, that's it's kind of floppy right now because it's very brand new. All right, are we ready to see it? Okay, let's turn it over. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Wow, you guys, look at that. Oh my gosh, that turned out really, really pretty. Yeah, I really love this. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see all the different colors that are coming through. The purples and the pinks and the blues and the greens. Oh my goodness. Kind of a rose gold and then a regular gold. Let me move this down a bit so you can see it. Oh yeah, super, super pretty. I really love how this turned out. Oh my gosh, well I hope that you guys enjoyed making this with me and gosh, if you haven't played around or experimented with these super mi mica powders, uh, I mean the super chameleon mica powders, I really suggest that you find a brand that you like and order some. And, uh, you know, um, these particular ones came from um, Glitter and Crafts for You, and I've been really happy with their products. And, yeah, so, okay. Well, here it is. And what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to set it over and let it completely cure so that it's not bendy anymore. And, um, and then I will probably right back here on this wide part of the flower, I'm going to go ahead and put just a little uh, sawtooth hook and find just a really cool little spot to hang this. You could also put this on a canvas or in the shadow box or something. You know, or maybe like a 6 by 12, uh, if you have a 6 by 12 frame or something, with something in the background. I don't know, gosh, there's just all kinds of things you can do with it. But, super pretty. Alright, you guys, thank you again so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed this project, and I will see you all next time.